You can't going, unhear stuff. You cannot un like once trust it, me. Once you say it out of your mouth, it can't go back in your mouth. Like it wasn't heard. Trust so me. So you have to be very you conscious of that. Unhear things. The biggest relationship pitfalls I think people should be aware of are lack of communication. Mm -hmm. That really is kind of the key. And and acknowledging the other person's wants and needs and feelings. Like people, I think, forget to do that sometimes because they're so caught up in what they want and think that maybe that other person wants that and they don't communicate whether that is the case or not. So people just get into this, they dig themselves in this giant hole where instead of communicating what they really want with each other, they assume what the other person wants. The other person's not gonna say anything and it just turns into a big old mess. Like communication, communication, communication. For the guys out there in the relationship, I'll tell you this. You're wrong. <laughs> Every argument, you're wrong. So if you can just, I agree. Be okay with being wrong. You're then, right. Oh, be, <laughs> you're right. What? By saying that you're wrong. Really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Women have mastered the art of arguing. Okay. We have not. No, okay. We, haven't. we have not mastered that art. So we find ourselves in situations that make things worse. Don't okay? make it worse, fellas. Don't look like that. Why are you looking at me like that when I'm talking to you? Where I, like, just sit there like this. P.S. That doesn't work either. Just by the way. But what? it's communication. It is communication. We ha I had to learn how, like you, I know her now. So we know how to have a conversation. We've done things like, and I, I think this is important. When you're in a, a committed relationship with someone you love, trust, and respect, then you have to really realize the way and the tone you talk to them. Yeah, absolutely. Like for us, we've taken cuss words out of an argument. And we don't cuss at each other because you uh, cuss at somebody on the street or someone you don't even know or someone you don't like. And what that does is that escalates the tone of an argument. So we had to find ways to communicate with, it, with each other without using ex, ex, um, Ex, ex, expletives. Is that right? Expletives? Sure. Okay, I got that right. right. <laughs> uh, so for, for us, it's all about respect. respect. Like, I love her. I cherish her. I adore her. So I'm not going to be screaming and talking to her like I don't, like she did something to me on the street like I don't know her. So if you understand that about your relationship and about your significant other, then you'll really understand that, look, after this argument, we're still going to be together, <laughs> right? Like, so let's watch how we talk to each other because we're still going to lay here in the bed together. You still can't going... unhear stuff. You cannot un. Like once trust it, me. Once you say it out of your mouth, it can't go back in your mouth. Like it wasn't heard. Trust so me. So you have to be very conscious of that. You cannot unhear things. So just be mindful of how you speak to each other. Yeah. No matter what the 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 argument or the, the disagreement is and sometimes and I have she learned this sometimes you have to agree to disagree before she didn't believe that was a thing she was like yeah I don't I don't believe in that I don't believe in a, a agree to disagree why would you disagree with what I'm saying I'm like oh, because I don't agree with it which is fine so, right so sometimes you have to agree to disagree look at it she still can't do it she, it makes me break out in high <laughs> to agree to disagree we have to come to some type of result but we did That's how we, I used to think we worked on that and now I can almost get away with that sometimes yeah. and the other thing too is to have the conversations that people won't have yeah. like there are so many conversations that don't get had because you're afraid of what the other person's gonna say or you're afraid you're gonna hurt the other person's feelings and that just masks over a problem. That yep. does not resolve anything. Like I would rather have an uncomfortable conversation with him about something I was feeling or something I thought he was feeling than not talk about it at all and both of us should be sitting here wondering or me be sitting here wondering what do I feel about that? Well ask, it's not, <laughs> just ask. It might be uncomfortable, it might be a weird conversation or a taboo conversation, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, but at least you know at the end of it and you have a foundation for that situation to, to base it off of instead of just thinking it might be something, which is usually wrong. Right. <laughs> it's usually wrong when you think you know what it is. It probably is not that. You're always wrong, guys. Just that <laughs> Yeah, and that.